Hi guys, I am back. <laughs> I'm back from China. So if you didn't know, I was gone for two weeks. So that's the reason why I'm late for this update. I was supposed to update on the 23rd, but I actually came back on the 24th. And then I'm a few days behind, of course. It's just my time is completely messed up. So every night I've been going to sleep like four or five in the morning and I get up like one or two in the afternoon. I am not like forcing myself to change my time back too fast because I have to wait for Adeline to switch back first. Otherwise, I just wouldn't be able to sleep at all. So I have to sleep the same time she does and it's just so hard for a one-year-old to change the time difference. So it's probably gonna take forever and I feel kind of like a zombie right now. My brain is just not operating right. Anyways, today I want to update you with my Power of Three lip gloss project pan. So this one, I'm doing it with Natalie. I will of course have her channel linked down below. So we've decided to just pan lip glosses in this project and we will pan three at the same time. Once we finish one, we will roll one in and so on and so forth. So I just watched her update and she had amazing progress. Make sure you go check her out. So for me, I had three lip glosses, of course, but I wasn't able to finish anything before last update. So for me, this update, I was able to finish two lip glosses as well. Well, Natalie finished two. Um, so the two that I finished are actually the two that I thought was gonna be the hardest because they're both pretty big. The first one is Lorac Alter Ego Lip Gloss in the color Harlot. So this one is a darker lip gloss, you can see, and it seems like there's still a little bit product right there which is true because I have decided I'm just not gonna take the stoppers out of those lip glosses. I'm just done with that. And I try to like lay it on the side so I can scrape it, but it just, it's not working. So I really couldn't get any more product out of this. I'm calling it quits. So those are some of my progress lines. That's the beginning, first update, second update. And right now I finished it completely. I'm a little torn about this lip gloss. It's rather pigmented and it's a little sticky, not too bad, but it's not sticky enough to like really set on your lips so it would like run out of my lips and being so dark of a color, it's really hard to manage. So I was really torn about this and I'm just happy this one is gone. The other one I managed to finish is from Laura Mercier. This one is the Lip Glaze in the color Shrub. So this one is just a very nudie, kind of like not really a color kind of color. Um, it would make any lip color that you have a little bit more muted because it's just a little bit milky. And I don't really wear it on its own unless I'm just trying to use it as a lip balm because it's pretty moisturizing. There are days I would just use it as a lip balm throughout the day pretty much. So this is my progress lines, beginning, first update, second update. And same thing, I'm not taking the stopper out and really I couldn't reach anything anymore. So this is all done and I'm happy to call that one quits as well. And this one is more on the liquidy side, it's not sticky but also like it doesn't have much of a color so it doesn't bother me as much. Third lip gloss I had in this project I didn't finish that one. I thought this one was gonna be the easiest, but at the same time, because I thought it was gonna be the easiest, I was trying to not use this one, but I was trying to use the other two, you know? Uh, in turn, I made the list progress on this, which is kind of funny. So this one is a Buxom lip gloss. It's a sample size in the color White Russian. Those are my progress lines, beginning, first update, and this is where I am now. I know there's one update there that I didn't use it at all, so it's just, yeah, this is where it is now. Hopefully I can really finish this by the next update because I know I can go through one of those within like two weeks-ish time if I use it every day, so I really hope I can finish this one. So because this is a rolling project, I finished two lip glosses, that means I'm gonna roll in two more, and if you watched my intro, you know all this project was inspired by those sample size books on lip glosses, um, but I only put one in. I don't know why. So I decided to put two more Buxom sample glosses in um, just to honor the original idea of this project. So those two are both on the brighter side, like color-wise. One is much darker. This one is a full-on lip cream and the color is Berry Bramble. 
I haven't used it at all. This one is a darker color. I just think I like some like darker color in the season, so why not try to use it? But if you sheer it out, it's not like too intense. So hopefully that will work out nicely and I'm gonna try to use that one. The other one is a full on lip polish. This one is in the color Nicole. So this one is more like a brighter pinkish red. Um, it has some shimmer when I look at it in the tube, but I'm not sure how it's gonna show up on the lips. You can see they're really close in color. So hopefully I can make some good progress on those two. Maybe I will try to focus on one and then the other, so that way I can make some decent progress on at least one of them. I'm just gonna have to play with them on my lips and then see how the color works out and then how I incorporate them into my daily looks. So those are my progress pretty much, and I'm really happy I was able to finish two lip glosses. And even though I didn't take the stopper out, but I'm totally okay with that. Like for me, I'm okay calling them quits. If it bothers you, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm just not about to take the stopper out. It's too messy. I'm just not really enjoying that last bit of the product, honestly. So this is it, and thank you guys for watching, and hopefully I can keep my uploading schedule more regularly with like my project updates i know i'm i'm kind of behind on a lot of things so hopefully i can catch up soon <laughs> but thank you guys for watching bye